Hey guys, so I'm just wanting to come on here to kind of talk about a, a topic that I spoke about in the past. I mean, it, it's no um, secret that I, I, I'm really not real big on the interracial re dating um, thing. Here a few minutes later. I've been watching black men's responses to black women divesting, which you guys know I'm not. A divestment channel however in the context of black women opening up their options and finding the best mate for them be that male or female but in most cases for black women it's gonna be male I support it in that context I Cynthia G is a man-hating bitch that makes videos primarily about black men she has a long history of being a blogger. She makes these videos because she is motivated by financial gain, just like the rest of us. She has a reputation for talking about issues in the black community, however she has a history of talking about black men in a negative light. It appears she has a bone to pick with these men. Her dad is a homeless drug addict that was a former boxer. He dropped out of boxing to pursue a life of drug addictions. I suspect she takes this angle because she has unresolved abandonment issues that weren't addressed in her childhood. This is a very, very common symptom in the land of social media. Everything is embellished and is an exaggerated for more clicks and traffic, all for a piece of the pie of the ad revenue. Henry Kissinger famously said the knives are so sharp online because the pie is so small. Moreover, it seems that she has an inferiority complex with how she talks about black men in particular. For example, they don't feel like they owe you anything. They don't feel like they're connected to you as a large population. Like how many times are we going to see in different cities, black men putting in work to harm you? And then I'm being told when I say, well, you have a womb, you control who enters into existence. If these men are not going to raise their children. She claims that it would be a good solution to abort all black male babies. At best, she alludes to it. At worst, she straight out just says that it was a that that's a solution to the problems in the black community by aborting all black male babies. She's not looking too far into the future because that's a very short term solution. And even if she were to go through with that and all her followers, even even if the world were to change and turn of it turn on its axis and suddenly all black women were to abort all black male babies, wouldn't black, it's counterintuitive because wouldn't black women go extinct? Wouldn't black women go extinct because there's no more black men left to procreate with? Because you need black men to create black women and vice versa. We need each other. But she creates this divisive movement online because it's profitable. that's key that is key that's the key one but i don't necessarily have a problem with her making money because we live in a capitalistic society she has bills just like the rest of us so i don't necessarily have a problem with that the problem is that she has no integrity the problem is that she will say anything and that's the climate of the world we live in right now she also fails to mention how black women are not blameless victims in these scenarios she tells her followers who are primarily black women what they want to hear which is a good blueprint it's a good game plan that's how you are able that's how if you want to gain notoriety on youtube you, you can't be a centrist you cannot be down the middle and fair you have to lean on the extreme of either side of to the left or to the right that's kind of how politics is but also it kind of drown it kind of like draws into the, into the online world uh, for black men and black women, she has to be extremely pro-black woman. She can't be a neutral person, a centrist. No, she can't be. She's obviously not going to be pro-black male because she's a woman and she's appealing to black women. That That's her fan base. She then goes on to have kids with a so-called beta male called Robert Perkins. However, the irony in that is she has always criticized black men for their choices in interracial dating. But she ends up doing the exact same thing she complains about meaning she is part of the problem. It's funny because she built her name up complaining about these so-called beta males. That just goes to show that no matter what these hoes say online, once a dude with a bit of game comes along, he's able to sweep her off her feet. Her contradictory talking points just illustrate that she doesn't even believe her own BS. It's just a YouTube personality for her to gain subscribers and relevancy and notoriety.
It's amazing how the power of social media can make people pretend to be people they aren't in real life. All for profit. I can't really blame her though. She's just using her looks plus her intellect to benefit in some way, be it financial or for clout. This is literally what pro-black babbling... But this, this is literally what you hear on the internet all day. These pro-blacks pushing and peddling their bullshit on social media. They, there is typically actually a game plan for these so-called pro-blacks to thrive on the internet. Step one, tell the people what they want to hear. Then step two is somehow finding an angle to make some money off of it. Funnily enough, most of the people who listen to Cynthia G are women who are probably bitter baby mamas. Cynthia G plays the game. She plays it very well. Most of these people who are so-called pro-black are just operating under the guise of wanting to help black people. But in reality, they're just helping themselves and they're just finding ways to thrive off of black people's weaknesses and their mentality and their weak mentality. But interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, these chicks gravitate towards Cynthia G's message because they relate to her message of preaching against the dusty beta male coons simply because these baby mamas are mad that they got pregnant by the wrong guy in their past and now they're dealing with the repercussions of it. But she she's using her intellect, she's using her looks, and she's using her in intellect. She's using everything that she has in her ability to gain money, subscribers, relevancy. It's crazy. Her followers need someone to listen to and someone to look up to. I guess Cynthia G is some kind of a role model to modern day black women. I mean, I guess because if you look at her from the outside, what do you see? You see a black woman talking about black men in a negative light so that she can take away black men's shine and give black women a shine. I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting because decades and decades you hear Oprah Winfrey talking shit about black men on the internet. And now she's doing the same thing. She's profiting. She's making money by talking about black men. But she's so-called against black men. It's, it's, it's hypocrisy and it's... Who knows? I mean, I guess I, I guess it's fine. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to really say about it. It's interesting. Anyways, guys, I'm out. Peace.